Hi, my name's Amanda and I'm a pharmacist. Today we'll be looking at some common drug suffixes. If you find this video useful, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share it with others who may find it helpful too. And if you'd like to have lifetime ad-free access to my pharmacy learning videos and handouts of all my slides, please consider enrolling in my online course today. The link to my course is in the comments and the description. Thanks, I really appreciate it. So before we get to the actual drug suffixes, we'll look at what are drug suffixes. So suffixes are word endings. So drug suffixes are the endings of the generic drug names. So to understand this, um, first we need to look at what a drug class is. So a drug class is a group of medications with the same mechanism of action, chemical structure, and indication. So there are medications in some drug classes that have the same suffixes. So this is helpful for learning the indications of medications by their generic names. And now we'll look at some actual drug suffixes. So ACE inhibitors, they end with the suffix pril, and they are for high blood pressure and heart failure. And ACE inhibitor, ACE stands for angiotensin converting enzyme. And an example of an ACE inhibitor is lisinopril. You can see the pril ending, and its brand name is Prenovil or Zestril. Then there are the ARBs, or angiotensin receptor blockers. They end with the suffix sartan, therefore high blood pressure and heart failure. An example of an ARB is low sartan, and its brand name is Kozar. Beta blockers, they end with the suffix olol. Beta blockers are for high blood pressure and irregular heartbeat. An example of a beta blocker is metoprolol. Its brand name is Lopressor. Dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers. They end in the suffix ipine. They are for high blood pressure. An example of a dihydropyridine calcium channel blocker is amlodipine, and its brand name is Norvasc. Alpha blockers. They end in the suffix osin. Alpha blockers are for high blood pressure and enlarged prostate symptoms. An example of an alpha blocker is terazosin. Its brand name is Hytrin. Direct factor 10A inhibitors. They end in the suffix aban. Direct factor 10A inhibitors are anticoagulants or blood thinners. An example of a direct factor 10A inhibitor is apixaban. Its brand name is Eliquis. HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors. They end in the suffix statin. HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors are for high cholesterol. An example of an HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor is a torvastatin, and its brand name is Lipitor. DPP-4 inhibitors. They end with the suffix glyptin. A DPP-4 inhibitor is an oral medication for diabetes. An example of a DPP-4 inhibitor is lenagliptin, and its brand name is Trigenta. TZDs. They end with the suffix glitazone. TZDs are an oral medication for diabetes. An example of a TZD is pioglitazone, and its brand name is Actos. SGLT2 inhibitors. They end with the suffix glyphlozin. SGLT2 inhibitors are an oral medication for diabetes. An example of a SGLT2 inhibitor is canaglyphlozin, and its brand name is Invicana. GLP1 analogs. They end in the suffix glutide or atide. GLP1 analogs are an injectable medication for diabetes. An example of a GLP-1 analog is dulaglutide, and its brand name is Trulicity. H2 blockers. They end with the suffix tidine. H2 blockers are medications for heartburn and GERD. An example of an H2 blocker is famotidine, and its brand name is Pepsid. PPIs. This stands for proton pump inhibitor. PPIs end in the suffix prazole. There for heartburn and GERD. Example of a PPI is esomeprazole, and its brand name is Nexium. 5-HT1B1D receptor agonists. They end in the suffix tryptan. 
These are for migraine headaches. An example of a 5-HT1B1D receptor agonist is Rizatriptan. Its brand name is Maxalt. Corticosteroids. Most of the corticosteroids end with the suffix own. Corticosteroids are for allergic reactions or inflammation. An example of a corticosteroid is prednisone. Its brand name is Deltazone. And the corticosteroids are sometimes just known as steroids. Penicillins. They end in the suffix cillin. Penicillins are antibiotics for bacterial infection. An example of a penicillin is amoxicillin, and its brand name is amoxyl. Fluoroquinolones. They end in the suffix floxacin. Fluoroquinolones are antibiotics for bacterial infection. An example of a fluoroquinolone is ciprofloxacin. Its brand name is cipro. Macrolides and lincosamides. They end in the suffix mycin. Macrolides and lincosamides are antibiotics for bacterial infection. An example of a macrolide is azithromycin. Its brand name is Zithromax. And an example of a lincosamide is clindamycin, and its brand name is cleosin. Antifungals. They end in the suffix azole. Antifungals are for fungal infection. An example of an antifungal is fluconazole. Its brand name is Diflucan. Antivirals. They end in, in the suffix vir. Antivirals are for a viral infection. An example of an antiviral is acyclovir. Its brand name is Zovirax. Benzodiazepines. They end with the suffix am. Benzodiazepines are for anxiety and sleep, and they are a DEA Schedule 4. An example of a benzodiazepine is alprazolam, and its brand name is Xanax. And now we'll just look at a review of the drug suffixes. So for the cardiovascular medication suffixes, ACE inhibitors end in pril, ARBs end in sartan, beta blockers end in olol, dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers end in ipine, alpha blockers end in osin, and all of those medications are for high blood pressure. Factor 10A inhibitors end in ABAN, that's an anticoagulant or blood thinner. HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors end in statin, and that's a medication for high cholesterol. For the diabetes medication suffixes, um, DPP-4 inhibitors end in glyptin, TZDs end in glitazone, SGLT2 inhibitors end in glyphlozin, GLP-1 analogs end in glutide or atide, and for the GI or stomach medications, their suffixes include the H2 blockers, they end in tidine, and PPIs end in prazole. And the anti-infective suffixes, uh, penicillins end in psyllin, fluoroquinolones end in floxacin, macrolides and lincosamides end in mycin, and these three are antibiotics, antifungals end in azole, antivirals end in vir. And some other medication suffixes, the 5-HT1B1D receptor agonists, those are for migraine, they end in the suffix triptan. Corticosteroids, for most of them, end in own. And benzodiazepines end in am. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to see more of my pharmacy learning videos. And if you'd like to have lifetime ad free access to my pharmacy learning videos and handouts of all my slides, please consider enrolling in my online course today. The link is in the comments and the description. Thank you.